Hello everyone. So today we are going to develop a program to find the largest and the second largest number in a list of 10 numbers. Okay, so we need to find the largest number which is pretty easy and uh, we will just take a step further and try to find the second largest number in a list of 10 numbers. Okay, so let us get started immediately. So what we need to do is we need to have a list and uh, we need to uh, accept 10 numbers and store that into a list. So what I will do is I will use a for loop and I will run that loop with a range of in a range of 10. So this will basically run from 0 to 9, right? And uh, then I will accept that is L dot append, okay? And I will simply say int of input and I'll say enter the enter the or enter number okay and give a space and say plus str of i plus one because i will be zero and I want that the message message should be enter number one enter number two and so on okay and then I will give a colon and uh, and that's it looks fine okay one two three i need one more one more closing bracket okay now that's it then i will accept 10 numbers and now the logic is for for uh, finding the largest and the second largest so i will just use a range function i will say len of l this i can image uh, i can anyway give 10 out here it will not make any difference uh, and then okay there is some problem like i in range okay i in range and then okay the closing bracket i'm not given over here okay now now what we will do is okay we will uh, declare a variable that is big okay is equal to l of uh, l of uh, zero so i'm assuming that my the first element of the list is the largest number and uh, what I will do is use the second, uh, that is the second largest number. For that too, I will say second big is equal to L of, L of zero. Okay, so I'm assuming that my first element is the biggest and the second biggest. Okay, let us just assume that. And then inside this loop, okay, what I will do is I will check if L of i, if it is bigger, if l of i if it is bigger than big which means that the second position now i need to start this from one so the index value will start from one which is the second position because already i am assuming that my first element is the number that is um, i have assigned it to the variable big i'm assuming that it is the biggest number the largest number so for checking i'm starting it from the second element so index value will be one one and the len of l that is 10 okay so if it is this condition goes true which means that the second element is bigger than this and in that case what i will do is what i will do is give the the value of l of i to big now this will be my bigger number right this will be will become my bigger number the second index value but before doing that what i need to do is i need to give the second big i need to make that as big so make sure you do not make mistake before making the second element as big you have to make that uh, you know uh, the second big variable you have to assign the value of big to the second big and then you can change the value of big over here okay now what if this condition goes false if l of i is is uh, not uh, greater than big in that case i will use a elif and check if l of i is greater than second big okay if it is true then what i need to do is i need to make l of the second big is equal to l of i and that's it okay and i will end the loop come outside and simply print the list 
let us run this program and see whether we can get the right output or not if we don't get the output we will make the changes just check our logic and come back okay so the first thing that we need to do is enter number one okay so you can see enter number one so i give 12 34 okay let us give some numbers and 10 i'll give as two and uh, okay we just simply displayed the list okay i did not display it i did not display the big and the second big so i will just print the big uh, i will say the the largest number is and give a colon and uh, then a comma and you can say big okay just copy this paste it for the second big also and i will say second big and i will over here i will say the second the second largest number now we will see the output okay so enter number one let's give some numbers okay and over here and over here now let us see the largest number is 678 and the second largest is 90 so you can check over here we have 90 as the second largest and 678 that is the largest number so our logic is perfectly right so uh, you can just go through this code and if in case if you're not understood this i'll just uh, uh, just um, tell you once again that we are using a simple for loop okay first thing that we need to do is assign the first value of the list as big and second big use a for loop check the condition if l of i that is the second element we are starting from the second index value that is the index value one the second uh, item into the list if, if it is greater than big which means that this number is bigger than the first element so we'll make that as the first element as the big and uh, but before that we need to assign the value what we have in big is to the second big and if this condition goes false then we'll check whether this second element is bigger than the second big and if it is so we'll assign that element to the variable second big right so this is how you can check the uh, you know whether to find the largest and the second largest number into a list and what if if we need to have the third largest also so in that case so simple you will just repeat this this uh, this logic for else if for example if i want the third big okay i'll just show you third big even that i will assume as l of zero just repeat this code okay repeat this code over here okay and before doing and over here what you will do is what you will do over here is uh, i will say third big okay third big and then i will say uh, second big is equal to l of uh, i okay and that's how to do it and then we will have and then we will have elif one more elif l of i if it is greater than third big okay and then what you will do is third big is equal to l of i okay so hope everything is fine so we will display the third big also and let's see whether the logic is right or wrong if it is wrong we'll come back rectify it okay so let us run this now and we have numbers like this okay now here it is the largest number is 899 the second largest is 89 and the third largest is 67 so 67 you can find 60 anything uh, anything bigger than 67 that is 89 that is the second largest and 67 so you can check over here that we have actually uh, done it right it's absolutely perfect it's working fine so the biggest number is 899 in the list second largest you can try to find it over here it is 89 and the third largest okay now the third largest okay 78 so it's not right okay let us try to do this again third big okay i'm doing something wrong out here that is okay over here. remove this and just say second big that that was a mistake 
isn't it and the second week and then okay perfect now we will run this the logic was a bit wrong okay now we will see the largest number is seven seven hundred seventy seven and uh, the second largest is five six uh, five sixty six okay it's uh, right over here and the third largest is 90 now you can let us check whether the third number is largest is 90 you can see okay now it's right isn't it let us let us run this with one more sample so that we are sure about it okay one more sample we will run it give some small numbers all different numbers i will try to give and over here i'll give as 50. now let us see this 67 you can see 67 is the largest then 56 second largest and then we have 45 45 is uh, the second largest the third largest i mean to say okay now it is all right okay so this is the code how you can find the largest number the second largest and the third largest okay so this is how to do the program. You can just revise the video. If you have not understood it, practice it and you can understand it, right? Bye for now. So if you have liked my video, do subscribe to my channel. There is a subscribe button in front of you. Click it right away. And after that, click on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notifications of my videos. Bye for now.